In this video, I will show you how I blur my background with my Canon M50 for my YouTube videos and Zoom meetings. If you're new here, my name is Vaseem and I talk about marketing and SaaS tools. A lot of people are asking me how I set up my studio for YouTube and how I blur my background. So I created this four part video series to cover four main topics. The first video, which is this one, will cover the camera and lens I use to record my YouTube videos. In part two, I will cover audio and I will share my recommendations on which microphones to use. In part three, I will cover lighting and finally in part four, I will cover my workflow. If you don't have a DSLR camera, I recommend buying either the Canon M50 or Canon M200. Both of these cameras are mirrorless and can record good quality video. For this series, I'll be recording with my Canon M50. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Let's get started. First things first, I want to cover very simple information on camera lens before we dive deeper. The first thing I want to cover is shutter speed and FPS, which is frames per second. For recording talking head videos, I recommend shooting at 25 frames per second. And to keep things even simple, just double your FPS and set your shutter speed. So if you're recording in 25 frames per second, we will be using 1x50 as our shutter speed. Since we're not recording any fast moving objects, you can lock these settings and then from here onwards, you don't need to fiddle with them. Next up is focal length. Focal length defines how zoomed in you want your subject in the shot. The shorter the focal length, the wider the angle, which means lens captures a greater area. So a 15 millimeter lens would cover a lot of background versus a 50 millimeter lens. All you need to remember is while shooting talking head videos, you can either use a wide angle lens to cover a lot of background versus a short telephoto lens to cover the subject and some background. I'll show you some examples shortly. And finally, it's the aperture. Aperture is the opening in the lens through which light passes to enter the camera. Aperture is where all the background blur magic happens. You need to have a lens that can record with a large aperture. This is where I got confused a lot. You can open the aperture with a small F number. So an F 1.2 means a large aperture and with that you get a shallow depth of field. So next time when you're going lens shopping, you need to check if your lens supports a lower F number. So here's a summary of what we need to know. Record at 1080p at 25 frames per second with a shutter speed of 1 over 50. Use fixed focal length ranging between 35 to 55 mm. Use a low f-stop value like f1.4 to create a dramatic blurry background. Let's put all this information together and look at some examples. First, we'll be recording with the kit lens which comes with the Canon M50. Here, I'll zoom out and we'll be using the 15 mm setting. The shutter speed is set at one by 50 and the aperture size or the F value is set to 3.5. I'm not going to change the ISO as the kit lens doesn't produce good results at a low ISO value. So I'll set this to auto. As you can check from the video, there's no depth of field as the kit lens doesn't support low F stops. Let's now change the focal length to 45 mm, which means you rotate your lens to zoom in the subject. You can now see, although we can notice some blurred background, but there is also some noise which you can check on the blacks. So here is the magic setup. As you can see, the background is completely blurred and the image quality is very good. I'm recording with a 50mm lens with a shutter speed of 150 and an f1.2. And the ISO setting is set at 100. So how did I achieve this? I'm actually using an old 50mm EF 1.8 lens from an old Canon camera. You can easily buy this lens for around $100. I'll put a link to all the resources in the description so you can easily find them. The problem is EF lenses have a different mount size and they don't fit in the new EF M mount, which is in the Canon M50. In order to use any EF lens with Canon M50, you need an adapter. I'm using the Viltrox 
EF EOS M2 autofocus lens adapter, which costs about $150. You can also get this from an Amazon link, which I put in the description below. Although I'm recording with an F 1.8 lens with Viltrox speed booster, you can get a boost and push your aperture to F 1.2. So with an additional kit of around $250, you can turn your Canon M50 into a bokeh powerhouse. Before you go, I want to compare one final lens. There's a lot of YouTubers who review the Sigma 16mm 1.4 f lens as the best lens for vlogging. Yes, probably it is. I want to show you how it looks if you use it for talking head videos. You will notice you do get some background blur, but as it is an ultra wide angle lens, it covers a lot of background area. The video which you see right now is recorded on the 16mm Sigma lens. There you have it guys, that's the end of part one. In part two of this series, I'll be talking about my microphone setup and we'll compare different microphone options. In part three, I'll cover the lighting setup I use when recording for YouTube. And finally, in part four, I will show you how I record videos with my Canon M50 and my overall workflow. That's it folks, if you liked watching this video and if you would like to watch the additional parts, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.